what's up guys, it's Jared from The Mystic Eye. So in this video, I'm just going to give you three tips on how to be uh, more efficient and increase your productivity. These two things are really important if you want to live the type of lifestyle that you want to live. And it's just something that's really good because you're, you'll feel better about yourself and your energies will function in a better way. So let's get into it. Alright, number one, do what you love. Sacrifice security or the illusion of security uh, for passion. A lot of times in society we say, okay, security is what's desirable and that's what everyone's going for. Okay, this is secure, I don't have to worry about this, this or that. But that's not true. Uh, if you get a secure job, a lot of times people wonder whether they, they, they get nervous about losing it. Um, and even if they don't have to be nervous about losing it, a lot of people complain that it gets too boring. So it's like there's never a happy medium. So just go ahead and sacrifice all of that for doing what you love. Sell all your stuff and do what you're really, really passionate about. When you do this, um, you're going to be able to do things way, way more efficiently and you're going to be productive way more because you're doing what you truly enjoy. You're doing what makes you feel alive. Uh, there's what society wants you to do and there's those desires such as security that have been put on us by society but then there's what your soul wants to do and your mind may tell you it wants security but your being doesn't actually want that your being just wants to be a manifestation of your soul and your soul doesn't have any concerns for these things it just does things because it wants to do them that's your soul coming out coming through you and coming alive so definitely just sell your stuff if you don't need it and uh, do what you're really passionate about and love and try to find a way to make money doing that because there's so many ways to make money in doing what you love. All right, number two, practice uh, the practice of austerities. Now what is austerities? So in the yogic tradition, there's this practice called austerities and practicing this is basically taking back control of your mind. We have so many compulsions and cravings that exist within our mind that really control our actions and our being. The purpose of practicing austerities is to take back control of the mind itself because the mind rules over you until it doesn't. And in the yogic tradition, what they'll do is they'll deny themselves pretty much as much as they can. And this has to be done with balance, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But Let's say your mind, let's say you uh, enjoy eating a, a donut once a day. And let's say you reward yourself. You say, okay, if I do this, this, and this, then I'm going to have a donut. That's not bad. You're putting yourself on a reward system that's discipline. Now let's say the, your mind starts telling you, well, you know what, I'm just going to have another donut today. And then, okay, I'll have another donut today. And so then you're eating three or four donuts a day. Now this is an extreme example, but let's just say like you go down, you walk down this slippery, this slippery slope or path. So this happens and uh, before you know it, you have no reward system in place and the mind is just ruling you. Basically, every time that you pass a donut store, you think, oh gosh, I want a donut. But do you actually really want a, do a donut? It's just you've been conditioned to think that you want a donut. But then you have the donut and it's not nearly as satisfying as, as it used to be. And that's how it works. When, th you know, when things are scarce and you don't have them as much, how much more do you enjoy them? You know, when I haven't eaten a chocolate bar, and oh gosh, I can't even remember the last time you ate a chocolate bar, but I'm gonna have one here pretty soon coming up. <laughs> but like, if I were to eat a chocolate bar every day, it's still really good, but then like, if you don't eat a chocolate bar for 12 days, oh my gosh, dude, chocolate bars are amazing. <laughs> I, I haven't eaten one in a while, so I'm actually getting pretty excited about this now. <laughs> But see what I mean? It's about the enjoyment of it. It's not about how much you can have. It's quantity over quality. There's a definite trade-off. The more you have of something, the qualitative experience of that thing goes down exponentially. So deprive yourself of those things, not in a bad way, but just control your mind. Every time when your mind says, oh, let's do that, oh, let's do that, make it a practice to say, well, how about instead of doing that, I do this. You know, like, so if you, you know, you get back from a long days of work and you just want to sit down and just enjoy a nice bowl of ice cream, sometimes that's really what's necessary. Sometimes your being really, really does need that. And that's just what you have to do for yourself. There is such a thing as just looking out for yourself in that regard. 
But that should only be every once in a great while if you're trying to become a certain t person or build a certain energy within yourself. Now, that can easily become a habit or something that you look forward to and just kind of takes over your life, but that's a whole other thing. And so instead of having that bowl of ice cream every single night after you uh, come back from a long day of work, how about instead just do something that you love? You know, sometimes I get back uh, from somewhere and I'm really tired and I just want to go to sleep right away. And I say instead, well, you know what? Well, how about instead of going to sleep, I just make a YouTube video or I just write in my journal for a little bit. When you do this practice, you slowly reprogram your mind and your being in a way that allows you to become more efficient. There's not going to be one day where you wake up and you just do everything and all of a sudden you're Superman. I used to think a lot of times it would just be like, oh, you know, one day I'll just turn into that type of person where I'm doing this or that or I'm not ready for that yet. Um, but that day will never come. That day comes in every single moment. Life exists in every single moment. If you want to change, you change right now. And you start putting the practices in right now. There's no other time. It's the eternal now. You just do it. <laughs> Once you start getting into this practice more, you'll start to realize how much time, unnecessary time and energy you wasted on so many other things. I mean, a lot of these things have really been integrating into my life since my Kundalini awakening. And I just look back at how I used to live and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wasted so much, so much time. Um, and that's just part of the learning process and evolving. But, you know, time adds up, money adds up, and you save five, ten minutes here, um, you're going to start becoming way more productive. And that's the other thing, too. Um, you know, you, say you go to that donut shop every day, that's 10 minutes spent. Now, if you cut that out of your routine and then you spend those 10 minutes doing something that is actually more efficient and that helps you evolve or something that you enjoy, then you're gaining 20 minutes, you know, because you're actually canceling that 10 minutes out of going to the donut shop, but then you're getting back 10 more minutes by being productive. So that's 20 whole minutes that you just gained there. So in terms of energy, you really just went up a, a big notch in just that little decision. And you do that with all little things in your life and you'll slow, slowly start to see, wow, I've, I'm getting way more done. I don't know how I'm doing all this. All right, number three, in every situation that you're in, ask yourself, why am I doing what am I doing and what's the purpose of it? Um, now this doesn't have to be in every situation, I shouldn't say that. For instance, if you're doing a hobby that you enjoy, you don't have to ask yourself that, you just enjoy it. But there's a lot of times where we're unconscious and we're just doing something and we don't even necessarily know why, we're just kind of there. And when you ask yourself this question a lot more throughout the day, you start to realize how much time you waste on certain things. You know, I see people, and I used to do this too, I used to surf the internet all the time on my phone. It's so easy. Mine gets distracted or you just want to distract yourself from something, just pull out your phone. There's a bunch of cool stuff to read. There's always going to be cool stuff to read. There's always going to be something more to check out or something to know. It's a never-ending cycle and it's a never-ending hamster wheel. You can consume all you want, whether it's knowledge, whether it's food, whatever form it takes. But instead, start becoming a creator. Consume less and create. And you'll see that you become way more productive, way more efficient, and that somehow more money will start coming in <laughs> just because you as an energy being, you're changing the way you interact with the world. Instead of pulling stuff in, you're pushing stuff out. And when you're pushing stuff out, you're going to pull more stuff in, but it's going to be those things that you actually want. It's a pretty simple formula. You know, what you become, what you do, what you focus on. If you're focused on consuming things, um, and there's things that can help you out, but you have to apply to them. So many times I would just read stuff and I'd be like, oh, this is interesting, that's cool, that's cool. But I never applied it in my actual life. You actually have to apply the things that you're learning to your life and, and integrate them into your life. You can't think your way into a new life. You have to live your way into a new life. So instead of, now you, your mind is tricky. Your mind might say, okay, well, I'm gonna go on the internet for 30 minutes and look up this, this, and that, and that'll really help me turn this around in my life. Well, yeah, it might help you out, but it's not gonna help you out unless you apply it. So look, if, so if you feel like you need to consume something that will help you out, consume it and then apply it. Apply it right away. If you're not applying it, then it has no purpose in your life and you're just fooling yourself and it's really not going anywhere or doing anything. 
All right, guys, well, that's all I got for this time. I hope this was informative. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, these tips have really helped me out in my own life, and I can just see uh, a lot of changes in productivity going up, and it's, it's just really awesome to see my own progress, and I really hope you guys do the same, because it's, it's just, it's, you'll live a better life, and you'll be much happier for sure. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I got. I wish you all the best with light and love. Namaste.